Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Today, I want to do a full long-term overview of a knife that I have given nothing but accolades to, a knife that I love, a knife that I still think is the best value on the market, and I'm going to tell you why. If you guys get just a second, first, please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon next to it. Show YouTube that you're really interested in EDC content. It'll keep you as one of my subscribers, notify you when I release new content, and allegedly help my videos get cycled to more people. So what we have here, guys, is the Max Ace Black Mirror. The Max Ace Black Mirror has been on the market since late 2022, third, fourth quarter of 2022, when I first discovered it after seeing Jared Neves' uh, review on it, he deemed it the best value knife of 2022. The reason being is, and I'll tell you where you can get this knife cheaper now, but when this knife first came out for Max Ace, who, to be quite honest, this is the most tame Max Ace knife I've seen in terms of kind of understated, elegant, just a normal looking knife, right? Um, I can show you other Max Aces that are much more futuristic, much more personality, where this one's just a good functional EDC knife. So the body in this one's full titanium. You've got fantastic access to this frame lock and drop shed action. This knife's also available with carbon fiber inserts that are done really nicely in the titanium handle. It's a flipper only deployment. I'm horizontal guys. So it's not dropping like it normally does. It's very drop shutty. But the blade is M390. The branding, because it's Max Ace, is very minimal. It says here on the blade, and you have to really look at it Black Mirror. Bowler M390, and that's all. Let me grab a coupon real quick. And this knife, guys, has cut. It has not been sharpened. It is super slicey. I'm trying to get it turning there for you. But yeah, just a very good slicer. The blade geometry is top notch. The deployment hole is done very well to where it's not pill shaped, but it's nice capsule shaped where my finger, I can push hard and get in that hole to get extra traction if I need it. Um, the sharpening choil on this knife is done exceptionally well in this kind of modified reverse Tanto spear point with kind of a sheep's footy blade, but then it comes back to where you've got this really nice sharpening choil where you can sharpen up to about there. And uh, again, the lock bar access, fantastic. The flipper access is fantastic. It's got a titanium pocket clip that's kind of in this gold. If I had to give any negatives to this knife, it would be the gold colored pivot collar or bronze and the bronze color titanium clip. I would much rather these kind of match the satin and be a little, but that's me. I'm an understated, elegant kind of guy. But guys, if you go to a website when this first came out, this knife in this configuration was 142 bucks. If you were to purchase it in the carbon fiber with the inset, it jumped up to a whopping 148 bucks. So let me tell you a quick bitch out story about Blade HQ. So Jared Neves brought this knife to my attention, talked about what a great value it was. I went to Blade HQ, um, saw that they were there, um, watched Jared's review a couple more times, went back to Blade HQ, and they were gone. They were sold out. Now I figured that makes sense. Jared's reviews get a lot of views. I'm sure it's out of stock. So I jumped over to Max Ace's site, it was there on sale, 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 the regular price, $142 for this model. 
or 148 for the carbon fiber. And like I told you guys, I wanted the raw tie, not to save the six bucks, but just because I like the look of it for this knife. So I ordered it from Max Ace. So that would be like me ordering a Spyderco from Spyderco's website, not from a retailer. So the next morning, out of curiosity, I wanted to go to Blade HQ site just to read about the specs again, because it's easier for me to get to that site than Max Ace, because I used to go there all the time. Well, lo and behold, this knife was back in stock. And I thought, well, wow, it went out of stock about midnight last night. Now it's back in stock. Guys, this knife was on sale for $184. So overnight, it went from $142 to $148. So I thought, John, maybe you're losing your mind. I went back to Max Ace's site. I had my receipt, but I went back to Max Ace's site to see if there was a price increase, and there wasn't. So no price increase. My understanding is Jared, when he partnered with Blade HQ for some affiliate links, he talked to him about this because it kind of upset him. He doesn't want the knife community to get taken advantage of in any way, especially not because of one of his reviews. He wants to bring knives like this to our attention. But I've noticed now when Blade HQ gets this in stock, it's 142 bucks. If you go to White Mountain Knives and they have it in stock, it's 142 bucks. If you go to Chicago Knife Works right now when I'm recording this video, which I think is May 19th, you can get this knife for $125 bucks or under $130 in the carbon fiber. And guys, it's fantastic value. I take this knife and I think the MASH version 2 is probably one of the greatest value knives. And I say value because it's under $150. But this M390... Black Mirror, you'd have to give the materials to this knife because it is M390 as opposed to 14C. But neither here nor there. Guys, fantastic knife. T8 hardware all the way around. You've got barrel hardware like you do on a hinderer knife. You've got this nice back, back spacer that matches the clip. Let's get some quick size comparisons and then I'll get you a few measurements and we'll get a weight. Cold Steel 4 Max, Civivi Baby Banter, smaller than the 4 Max, bigger than the Baby Banter, Benchmade Bug Out, same size as the Benchmade Bug Out, maybe just a hair smaller. Good bit smaller than the paramilitary too so guys i would say it's right around the size of the benchmade bug out in length now of course it's going to be a little wider but not much it is a thin knife you can see that the blades thin we'll get some measurements in a second the body's thin i think it's well under a half inch but let's do break out the javon promotional tape measure seven and a half inches overall the blade is coming in at three and a quarter the handles coming in at four and a quarter if you look at where I handle it which is right here that's where that jimping is so I'm gonna measure from that jimping to where that handle starts so that's three and a half inches from here to here, right inside of here to here is three and a half inches. The cutting edge is three inches. And let's grab Grateful Panics calipers. The blade stock's 0.1195, up at the tip, 0.0355, behind the edge, point zero two seven zero, and our handle thickness, 0.476, right under half an inch. Guys, 
I can't give you enough positives about this knife. I've done a short-term review on it. I felt like it deserved a full long-term review. Um, it's a knife that if someone said, Javon, should I get a Max Ace Black Mirror? I would say, is it the right size for you? Does it suit your basic needs? If they said yes, I would say run, do not walk. Try to go to Chicago Knife Works. If you can get this for under $130, you've won the lottery. If you can get it for $142 in stock or $148 for the carbon fiber, great value, guys. Again, $125 is just crazy, crazy inexpensive. 142 is crazy and expensive. Again, titanium, titanium clip, titanium backspacer, this nice stonewashed uh, M390 blade that's super, super slicey. Very well done. You've got this little kind of interesting choil. It looks like marks, but where the plunge grind is, it continues up over the whole flat. So that's what you see there if you're seeing some shadowing. But guys, Max Ace, black mirror oh i know what i was going to do i was going to weigh it for you i've got to get some batteries so i don't know if this is going to come on or not let's see boom 0. 0.390 so if you look at an ounce per inch it's going to come in a little heavy that's not something that i ever really concern myself with i like a knife to feel kind of solid and i can tell you this one goes in and out of pocket like a dream I'm wearing five uh, 11 jeans, and I can slide it into my pocket without adjusting the clip. So it's the winner, guys. Again, Max Ace Black Mirror. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my content. I hope you're enjoying the videos I'm bringing to you. Again, if you have the time and you're so inclined, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.